no, no. At the Nano Lab, research is conducted on objects that are one billionth of a meter in size. Oh, that's small. Nanoscience is about discovering and using the new phenomena that occur in extremely small structures of a material. Scientists at the Nanometer Structure Consortium at Lund University and its Faculty of Engineering are world experts in creating such very small structures with extremely high control, almost atom by atom. For example, these nanowires are needles that are about 1,000 times thinner than a human hair. They are produced in this very clean environment, protected from less clean humans, and can be used in a broad range of applications, including solar cells that require much less material than traditional solar cells, or as light sources that use much less energy than light bulbs. In my own research, I make use of the random motion that every small object carries out when it gets kicked by air or water molecules. This is called thermal motion. For example, we are learning how to convert heat into electricity by using nanowires to direct the random thermal motion of warm electrons into one direction, generating a current. With this effect, called thermoelectricity, one hopes to be able to generate electricity from waste heat, for example, from the heat from car engines. Molecular motors also make use of thermal motion. They are large molecules that perform useful tasks in living cells, for example, the transporting of other molecules. We are learning how to build such motors from scratch. And working together with our colleagues at Kalmar, we learn how to control the motion of biological motors outside of cells. For example, we can use molecular motors to transport individual molecules through hollow nano-sized tubes. Such systems may in the future be used to understand how human muscle works, or as part of miniature chemical laboratories, so-called labs on a chip for quick and simple diagnostic devices in doctors' offices. In order to fabricate these structures, we make use of state-of-the-art techniques such as electron beam lithography. With these tools, we can fabricate structures down to tens of nanometer precision. We can also control the growth of nanowires using a variety of material. In my work, I specifically focus on that material which is biocompatible. With this freedom, we can create structures such as biosensors for use in drug screening and for diagnostics. <laughs>